Today we're going to talk about two important parts of the carbon cycle. We are going to complete two note takers and these two note takers we will um, complete in class and then cut them out and glue them into our science notebooks. I'm recording this video just in case you are absent that you can complete them at home at your own on your own time. So we're going to start off with photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is an important part of our life processes because photosynthesis allows life on earth. Photosynthesis is the process where plants make their own food. So on your note taker, the first thing I'd like you to do is complete this portion down here, which is the definition for photosynthesis. The purpose of photosynthesis is to make glucose for the plant to use as food. Let's scooch this over just in case you can't see that. So the purpose of photosynthesis is to make glucose for the plant to use as food. Photosynthesis is the way that plants make their own food. Plants use the energy from the sunlight. They use that energy to create a chemical reaction between carbon dioxide and water. So plants um, absorb water through their roots and they take in carbon dioxide gas through their stomata. Remember we talked about stomata before, they're the tiny pores on plants that open and close to take in different gases. So plants take in carbon dioxide and absorb water through their roots, and then they use energy from the sunlight in order to make or to produce glucose, right down here, and oxygen. This is a chemical reaction, and we talked about chemical reactions before. Remember when we talked about chemical reactions, we looked at chemical equations. And we can look at the chemical equation for photosynthesis. So the chemical equation for photosynthesis is plants taking in carbon dioxide and using water that they absorb through their roots. And to get that chemical reaction going, they use light energy. This light energy happens to be stored in the chloroplasts in their cells. So there's this green pigment that lies in the chloroplast and that absorbs the sunlight. It absorbs the sunlight and it stores it in order to get this chemical reaction to take place. Once this, these are called our reactants. Remember when you mix two things together, they're called our reactants. These reactants, combine using light energy. These atoms rearrange them, themselves into oxygen and glucose. Glucose is sugar. Glucose is sugar. And the plants will then break down this sugar in order to get energy. But that's through a different process that we're going to talk about next, which is cellular respiration. So, Photosynthesis is important for two reasons. It creates food for the plant and it creates oxygen. What do we need to breathe? What do we breathe? We breathe oxygen, right? Through respiration. We need oxygen in order to get energy. We also need food. And this glucose is our food because we, as living organisms, as animals, come along and eat plants. We eat these plants and then break down this energy. So plants create their own food and they break it down in their cells. We eat plants or other animals and get this food for us that we then break down as energy. So photosynthesis is the first process. Um, plants go through photosynthesis. They produce their own food. Plants are the basis for our food chain. Without plants, we would not be able to live. So this is a very important process. Without this, without photosynthesis, there would, be, there would be no life on earth. So plants go through photosynthesis, make glucose and oxygen. They release that oxygen and we breathe it in to get energy. Then, this process takes place. It is called cellular respiration. So now, 
plants have produced oxygen and glucose, right? Now they will break this down. Remember, this is a chemical reaction that takes place. And during a chemical reaction, these atoms rearrange themselves. And they rearrange themselves into carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. ATP is energy. Remember when we looked at chemical reactions and sometimes energy was absorbed or sometimes it was released? In this case, this energy is released. And it's released in this form, in this molecule that we call ATP. This is energy. So plants then, remember they produce this oxygen and this glu glucose through photosynthesis. Now in the mitochondria, which is another part of the plant cell, in that mitochondria, they break down this oxygen and glucose. These atoms rearrange themselves and make carbon dioxide, water, and this ATP chemical, which is energy. That energy then plants use to go through different processes. We as animals eat plants or eat other animals to obtain this glucose. We also breathe in oxygen. So we breathe in this oxygen through our lungs that the plants have released into our atmosphere. And then we eat plants or other animals and, and we get this glucose. Then in the mitochondria of our cells, we break it down. And what we produce is carbon dioxide, which we then release through our lungs. We also produce water, which is in our bodies stored or we breathe out it breathe it out through our mouths, through respiration. And we create ATP, which we then break down in order to get energy. So in your note taker, please make sure that you have filled in all of the boxes. And don't forget this, the purpose of cellular res respiration is to make ATP, which is the energy the cells use to do everything that keeps an organism alive. The purpose of cellular respiration is to make ATP, which is the energy the cells use to do everything that keeps an organism alive. All right, after you've completed these two note takers, you need to cut them out, trim them, and glue them into the notes section of your notebook.